Good morning, good morning. I haven't given you any more information about the clue. Now, this was a note that Sarah Sloth, our archaeologist, our aquatic archaeologist, I'm watching the volcano movie in and around Murdoch. I haven't started it yet, but I'm going to, Judy. Um, and the first line is, it's the, the, the note was destroyed in the hurricane or wherever it came from. Um, and it has a hundred M blank L E S hundred miles. And then it says C O a big space where the letters washed off B I A. So Sarah has deduced with her, uh, detective skills and archaeology skills and her map skills and everything else that since the X is here, this is a hundred miles from Columbia, which here's South Carolina on the map and there's the X. This piece of paper ephemera showed up when I was putting this page together and it has a hundred on it. I'm like, okay, that's where I started seeing things for clues. The next line is F, no, three F T. Again, Sarah's detective skills, three feet. And then something here, but part of the letters washed away. It looks like N I G H. That's all I'm going to say. <laughs> that I haven't made a big deal about that because I mean, really and truly with my camera, you really can't see it very well. And that's not fair, but it's been in here the whole time. We collected this off the beach, right? Right. So. We are on to section five, which is what happens next. And here she said she needed a break. So we're giving her a break today. And then I found this in my little bag of tricks that says fly. I, I got it out of an art journaling magazine in spring 2019. So maybe it needs to be used today or yesterday. Um, and this side of my spread is the story that goes with this side. So that's gonna describe, and I just have it posted in here because um, it needs a background of some kind. I don't know what kind yet, but we'll get there. Um, today, she knows she wants to explore new places. In fact, before I forget, that's what it's supposed to be. I better write it down. Explore new places. So she, there's a couple places she hasn't been to. She hasn't been to Patagonia. She hasn't been to, where else did she tell me? Um, the South Pacific. Sorry, I was just cleaning a bathtub, as you do here at the beach. Patagonia, South Pacific, and she would like to do some more um, around Ireland with the early, 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 um, inhabitants, kind of like what we saw when we went to, um, Ireland and like, they're not Druids. It was amazing. They lived in rock caves that they dug in the lava rocks and stuff. It was amazing. So that's one thing she really wants to go to. So she wants to explore New places that she hasn't been to. So I've been to one that she hasn't been to. Wow. Um, but this page is not going to have anything to do with what's on the back. <laughs> it's just going to be another pretty art spot. So this needs some paint. And then I'll let it dry. And I don't have a credit card here. I could have sworn I had a credit card here. Gertie, don't make fun of my losing things. I'm just kidding. You do know that, right? I could have sworn I had a credit card in here somewhere, though, to spread stuff with. Huh. Maybe we need to use some paper out of this box. This box is getting full again. How does that happen? What do they do here at night when I'm not here? All right. I could have sworn I had a credit card. Oh, you know what? It might be in my beach bag. 
Huh, okay. Plan B, let's, that maybe we'll do something that's already painted. But that's gonna kinda detract from our, ah, let's go ahead and paint it. That's gonna detract from our, and you know what? Look at here. This is Amsterdam way, way, way back, but it's on vellum, and I bought this piece of ephemera. I think this was a, uh, what was it called? Five Little Gypsies or something Gypsies in the 90s, early 2000s. This is the last little bit of it. It was a sheet that had a grid of a bunch of different cities. Since she wants to explore, and there's sailing vessels here, we're going to use this today. This is... The last bit of that paper. Amsterdam. And I had my Amsterdam shirt on the other day. I love my Amsterdam shirt. It's just plain black. And it's got a big bright red bicycle on it. <laughs> and it just says Amsterdam. <laughs> That's how everybody gets around. And get out of their way. Woo! All right. This is really... Um, this is unbleached titanium. This might be neutral enough. Oh dear, that might be too much paint. Oh dear. No wonder it stays gloopy. Let's see if we can't clean that up sometime. All right. Ew. There's a worm in my water can. I'm sure it came from something paint. Ew. Let's put it back. Let's not. Oh dear. Probably came from this paintbrush. I'm bad about my watering facilities. Oops. I just hit my little lamp here. Oh. <laughs> There's the credit card. <laughs> I guess I was supposed to hit that lamp. Sometimes, you know, the universe helps you out when you're your own worst enemy, right? I knew I had a credit card here. See, Cartier wasn't lost. The lamp knew where it was. Okay. I know this isn't a news channel or anything, but my lord, that needs to dry. The Murdoch trial yesterday was insane. That man testified. I think, I'm pretty sure his lawyers did not want him to. As slimy as they are, they still didn't want him to get up there because it would not help. Plus, it gave the prosecution, you know, carte blanche to tear him apart. Okay, let's see if we can't get our credit card in a more visible spot. Um, and he knows... Obviously, he knows court strategy. He knows all this stuff. I found these. These are another project, but we might use these today. And we're going to use that. Ooh, I like these shapes, too. Okay. Oh, here's another one. Um, but he, uh, he didn't do himself any favors, just let me tell you. Ooh, look at this piece of paper. Now, what I want to do is not a new concept, but it's mixing a couple of my favorite things. Anyhow, his eyes were so evil yesterday at points where he just was staring down the prosecution team like, I dare you. And Judy, I told you this on Instagram. No, I told you this in the comments. I've never seen eyes like that except one time. In Jerusalem, when I went, which was in 2008, I we, tr we were on a tour group, um, a Bible study group, and um, there were people from all over the world in that group. There was a lady and her daughter from Hong Kong, um, just everywhere you could imagine. And um, one of the kids, a young guy who's in his mid to late 20s, 
he was from Texas and he was um, Oriental. He had come from Cambodia as a little boy. Asian, I guess Oriental isn't the right thing to say. Rightly so. But um, so he had quite a history and I kind of just liked him. I don't know why he was in law school. Um, he was just a, a good kid. And one day we were in Jerusalem because we stayed part of the trip in um, Tiberi Is it Tiberius? On the Sea of Galilee. And then half the trip was there. And you did day trips from there. And then the other half of the trip was from Jerusalem. And you did day trips from there. Um, when we were in Jerusalem, he pulled me aside. And he goes, I want to go to the Knesset. Do you want to go to the Knesset? I'm like, sure, let's go. Which is their <sighs> government buildings. One of the buildings we went to was their courthouse, and one, a federal courthouse, and one was their government buildings. And I can't remember if the Knesset is their courthouse or vice versa. Anyhow, we had to go through a ton of security. We had to bring our passports. Um, and another lady went with us. Two, two other ladies went with us. And um, they were not as interested in sitting in a like, court case as this kid and I were. And so they were wandering around waiting on us. And um, we had the approval of our guide because she does a lot of Israeli tours and has a house in Israel and does all kinds of stuff. But we got her permission because you, you still need to be a little smart about what you're doing as tourists in some countries like that. So she goes, yep, you can go. It's safe. Don't don't take the bus. Take a taxi. I'll get a taxi for you because they'll try to rip you off, blah, 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 which we think they did because we had to take, oh dear, we had to take two taxis because we didn't all fit in one. And one group took 20 minutes longer to get there. <laughs> she goes, we went on all kinds of streets and they got charged twice as much. But anyhow, we still had fun. And um, uh, we were so we 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 went through the government building, which oh they have Mark Chagall paintings and I mean gigantic paintings in the lobby. It was beautiful. It was beautiful. Um, tons and tons and tons of security. Uh, we had to bring our passports, turn them in. They gave us each a trash bag, like you would line a trash can with, and said, "Put all your stuff in here, your purse, everything." They gave us a tag. We had to reclaim it at the end, which we did. Nothing happened. Um, your phones, everything. And, um, which in 2008, I think I had a camera. I didn't have a phone to take pictures with. I know I did. And so, um, we went in to a court case. Now they were speaking Hebrew. We couldn't understand them, but there was, we must have looked American. <laughs> so, uh, there was a, a guy and a girl, a bunch of students sitting, sitting behind us and they were all law students in Jerusalem. And they said, you speak Hebrew. We're like, no. He goes, all right, well, let me tell you, this is, he goes, and the kid told him, I'm a law student in the United States. And he goes, okay, cool. And he goes, all right, well, this case is, um, I can't remember what it was, but he said, the defendant is from Al Qaeda. And we're like, what? <laughs> he, at that point, walked in. He was in a brown jumpsuit. He had a uh, facial hair, like an Al Qaeda soldier, and he stared at the entire courtroom all at once with the deepest, darkest, blackest eyes I've ever seen. And I've never seen him since except yesterday. Murdoch, when he got angry, he had those same color, dark pools of eyes. Now, whether it was the lighting in the, in the courtroom, the camera, I don't know. But I saw those eyes and he could stare bullet holes into you. No pun intended. Probably shouldn't say that. He's not prove, been proven guilty yet. But, um... And I don't know if he will be proven guilty. Uh, we've proven, they've proven he's a horrible human being. But murder, I don't know. I still believe there's a huge chunk that we don't know about that happened in three minutes that nothing has been retrieved for. Um, no evidence has been retrieved for. And it was just, it was freaky to see those eyes again. I'm like, oh my God, I have not seen. I mean, and it hit me like a wall of bricks. I haven't seen eyes like that since... 2008 in that courtroom in Jerusalem. 
anyhow, that kid and I stayed for a few minutes and then we're like, you want to leave? I'm like, yeah, he gives me the creeps. He goes, me too. So anyhow, we, he got to be in a courtroom in Jerusalem. I did too. My husband thought that was really cool. Um, and we were exploring a city on our own. Um, oh, and there's tunnels. It's on a hill, a rolling grassy hill, that complex. And, um, there's tunnels all underneath it, but the prime minister who might have been Benjamin Netanyahu, who's back in there for right or wrong, no comment. Um, uh, his helicopter landed and they had like five helicopters flying him as, as protection in. And then he lands on a pad and there's like a, a tunnel underground and he travels underground through all those buildings. It was really cool. It was a cool experience. That whole trip was a cool experience. Besides all the religious um, lessons that I learned after a, just a huge student of the Bible. It was it was cool. All right. This is what I wanted to do. I just wanted to have these a grid of holy things uh, on here. And they don't all have to fit. I saw a quilt on some quilting channel the other day that had kind of like, it was an art quilt. It kind of had this going on. And I'm like, you know what? I want to do something like that with paper. Just like that. Woohoo! Now, I'm afraid to add some more stuff. But let's just see. We can pull it up. Ooh! I like these things woven around it. They're staying. Sorry if y'all don't like that, but it's my rules. I kind of want them in different places. Oh, I need one more. Maybe not. Maybe not. This one could be like over here. Now, where does Amsterdam go? <laughs> oh. I love that. It's not glued down. Look at that. Oh, Beth, sometimes you amaze even myself. This is all wet paint still, and I don't have a dryer here. A heat gun. Let's see if we can get enough glue on here to just make stuff stay till maybe this afternoon. And I'll come back in here and glue it. My husband's coming after lunch today, or right at lunchtime. On Friday, he has this men's breakfast thing that he started doing, which he has been enjoying. And then he's going home and getting the dog and heading this direction. So Katie bar the door. Here comes the holy terror. He's on his way. Anyhow, yeah, I'm not so sure. He's going to go to jail for life. It doesn't matter. He's done too many other financial crimes and conniving and horrible stuff, horrible stuff, horrible human being. And I'm not so sure he had an opioid addiction. He may have taken them and me, he may have had a little bit, but I think he's using that as a crutch because he supposedly if $50,000 a week opioid ha habit, nobody knew he was on drugs except for his wife, his youngest son who are both now dead and a cleaning lady. His friends, nobody, if you're on a $50,000 a week opioid habit, your people are going to know about it. He supposedly went to rehab facilities, but never longer than a week. And he said they just got him off the pills and then he tried to do it on his own. Well, he couldn't do it on his own. I'm not, I wouldn't be surprised if he didn't have some kind of habit like that. But 
I think he was distributing drugs. That's what I think he was doing. <laughs> okay. Me and all my wise thought process. Okay, that needs to dry. But I love that. That would be a gorgeous art quilt, actually. That's why I guess I was attracted to it when I saw it on YouTube last week sometime. It's been in my head ever since. And you know, the head is a crowded place these days. <laughs> oh, anyhow, I'm, today's Friday. I'm going to watch the, the last of the testimony. They said he'd probably be there for three or four more hours. Oh, and, and then Harputlian oh, tried to say, Judge, we've got these really, really short um character witnesses and they are having travel plans problems and can we just interrupt the beginning of tomorrow morning with their testimony and the judge is like no he said mr waters creighton waters the prosecution team how many more hours do you have with mr murdoch he goes i don't know three or four and he goes we can do it then afterwards mr harputlian the judge is not putting up with harputlian's crap but he had to try it he had to try it and then he's like well, actually, Judge, and his tone of voice changed, and he goes, I thought this was a murder trial. I haven't heard anything about murder. Got a point, but they don't want the financial stuff. They're still stringing it all out. And that was one of the conditions of that Harpootlian was trying to get to happen, that if, oh, I do need to cut these off. If Alex Murdoch took the stand, could they? he plead the fifth on any financial questions? And the judge is like, oh, no, Mr. Harpootlian. Because <laughs> the prosecution is like, his financial demise is what spurred on an, an anger in him, angry enough to kill his wife and son. Because they had confronted him about drugs, too. The day before or that morning is what I've seen. On, I don't know if that's true, but I've heard it somewhere. Oh, that is so pretty. Okay. Art hat off, courtroom hat back on. See you tomorrow. Bye. Thanks for watching.